I've had another idea, so I'm just going to go with it. It's going to be quite a basic painting, so uh, similar, a bit similar to the last one, but well, sort of similar. Similar sky, I'll say that. Similar sky. So let's add the liquid clear. Let's get going. I've got my heater on. If it's annoying, let me know, and I'll turn it off because my feet are literally like icicles. Thank you, I'll try and watch as long as I can, but I might have to pass. Oh no, don't pass out. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Um, I'll try my best to like and chat. Thank you, average GTA. Did we, GTA, was you in the last one? We literally just done what done a painting, and then I've restarted the stream. I don't think I saw you. There's a few of us that weren't. Sometimes everyone don't get the notifications. Which is annoying, isn't it? Okay, I don't know if I'll... What, I've got an idea. It's going to be a simple uh, snow again, snow scene. With some trees and a nice sky. That's the basic idea. I've got so many little canvases I need to use up. So I'm going to do some basic little paintings like the last one. But that actual last one turned out quite nice, I thought. I'll show you guys if you can manage to stay at the end what the last one was like. Have you got Insta? Yes. Do you have some landscape picture ideas? Lisa. Okay, so click my profile picture. Um, and there's, and that takes you to my profile and there's a link underneath there that opens up everything. It takes you all to my, all, all my social, everything. But on in, Insta, I'm the same on, yeah, Visual Fusions on YouTube, um, but all the links are there. Visual Fusions one, the number one, is my Instagram. So you can uh, message me. Yeah, we're gonna do some more snow. The last one was stunning. Thank you very much, Lottie. Well, we're gonna do a similar sort of, I'm gonna use like these colors, so it's gonna be sort of a similar sort of, uh, sort of look and feel to it. But obviously a different painting. Not the same, not the same, not the same. Right, now I've got that liquid clear on. I'm gonna put the lid on before I plaster myself in it. Quick a amount of drink. Okay. Prussian, let's go with some, the last one was uh, Prussian blue, let's go with some phthalo blue. Some phthalo blue, some um, phthalo green. Don't need a lot on there, and we're gonna get some yellow again. Uh, I, I, I so ill, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Not you as well, GTA. We've got a few in here not feeling well. What's up? Has anyone got the flu or COVID or anything? Got it, thanks. I'll DM you some now. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to start with some yellow. Can you, can you see the board down there? Where that is. Hopefully you can. So I've got some yellow. Let's put a load of yellow, a load of yellow. Don't want that, that, don't want that hair there. Let's just make a load of yellow here. I'm gonna be blending that in with some, um, let's go really sort of yellowy. Let's okay. So we've got some yellow on there. Got some little paint bogies going on. Get them off. I know where these little paint bogies come from. Okay, now let's go into the into the green. Now I've got the yellow on there. So we we'll go some green about here. Let's go green up there. Look at them colours. Bring that green right down into there. When you're using uh, a black canvas, it's very easy to not put enough paint on. You can see the black coming through, but you'll get that sort of hang of it sort of thing. Okay, let's go something like that. Got some little bits of green up there. Anywhere, really. Paint bogies. <laughs> Do you like that, Brooke? <laughs> that's my, that's my, that's mine. That's mine. It's trademarked. <laughs> No, nothing like that. Being dealing with recurring kidney. Oh no! Ugh. 
Speedy recovery, wish you all the better. Keep away from the yellow snow. <laughs> you like that, Brooke, paint bogeys. Charlotte, nice to have you back. Lottie's back. Nice to have you all here, guys. Well, I'm going into the blue now. Let's load that up. So this is the same brush. And we're just gonna put a load on there. That makes it, that, that's a different blue from the last um, picture. So we'll see how this comes out, shall we? Oh, it's nice and, nice and slick and wet paint. Right, I'll draw a little stick man in the middle and call it done. <laughs> so I'm either gonna use the same brush as the last painting. I'm gonna clean it out a little bit though, just try and dry it off. You know, I do, perfect term for them. <laughs> yeah, paint bogies. Paint bogies. Just gonna grab some more tissue, guys, hold on. I'm gonna turn my heating off now. That saved me, uh, saved me about 500 quid. How many brushes per picture do you use? Oh, it's, mate. Sometimes it can be like four or five, which is kind of what I'm doing tonight. There's some like the big pictures I've done like the other night, I could end up with 20 odd brushes just because, you know, when it, when you're doing a live, I mean, you'd normally just brush them out, but when you're doing a live, you want them instantly sort of next to you. You don't want to keep cleaning the brushes out. It'd be boring for you guys. So I just clean them all, all out the next day or the night before. <clears throat> I'm going to go buy some art supplies tomorrow as watching has really given me the bug. Yes, go for it Lottie and please, please send me pictures on Instagram or, uh, I don't think you send pictures on uh, TikTok, but yeah, or tag me in a video, I'd love to see. Okay, let's start with this yellow. I'm, just, I'm gonna bring this green into the yellow. I just want a light patch. I'll start bringing it in from the sides on this. It's gonna be interesting to see how this one comes out. Just keep blending and blending. And don't forget, you can bring some of that up. You can bring some of that up right high. That's looking nice. Like a nice sort of light green color. Going into that blue at the top. Bring some of that blue down a little bit, even into there. Keep going lightly now, because like that's where you start getting the um, the brush lines. If you wanted that more yellow, you can uh, add a blob of yellow on there if you wanted to. I quite like quite like that. Gently, oh, so, yeah, it's almost sort of glowing. I just wondered if. Um, Next time, I think I might bring the blue further down and then just do a couple of Northern Lights there. I don't wonder if I can, hmm. No, I don't wanna muck about with that at the minute. It's, oh, sorry, I'm speaking out loud with ideas. But next time, I'm gonna do one with, I might even try it after this one. <laughs> I'm just thinking because I know I can't really do Northern Lights on this because if I added white, it'll just, cause it's so wet, it'll just, it won't, I won't be able to sort of blend the northern lights in like I normally do. But this is a kind of northern lights background. So another, another paint bogey. Take that off. Um, yeah, this is Oils Tiff Taff. Nice to have you here. Uh, how far in advance do you gesso the canvas? Um, normally about anything between half an hour and an hour. Sometimes I'll do it like the morning before as long as it's dry, sometimes I even put it under the heater, you know? I've got a little blow heater in here and sometimes I'll just do that. Okay, so I think I'm... Where are these little bogeys coming from? This one's actually a green bogey. It's not mine. Okay. Paint bogeys. Okay, I think I'm there now. Be doing that all day long is so it's so satisfying. Palm, how you doing? Yeah, oil paints are the best, I believe. For me personally. 
things you can do with them. Let's put some snow in and see what happens. So, where's my white? Here. So, I'm going to have some white. I've got some magic white that I'm going to mix in with it too. So, I'm using the brush from the last, not that brush, that's black. Um, I'm using the brush from the last paint, which has got some hints of green in it. So, I'm just mixing some liquid whites with the titanium white. So, one's really sort of nice and creamy, one's really thick, very thick. So, I'm just going to mix them together. You see the difference? You can use the palette knife or your brush to do this. I just find doing this really um, mixes them up quite well. So there's a hint of green in there, but that doesn't matter. And we're going to make some snow, so let's just fire some snow on here. I think I'll have this one sort of flat, you know. This fan brush. Okay, it's just not the easiest. They're not the easiest um, brushes to cut in with, but I'm managing. Just picked up a nice bit of green there. That looks nice. Just a bit of blend that out a little bit. Yeah, it covers really well, doesn't it? They're both there, considering that's um, white. Um, how about some mountains in the background? Um, no mountains in this one, it's a different painting. But thank you for the uh, suggestion. Looks nice, the sky looks creepy. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, no mountains in this one. I'm having a break from mountains on this picture. Um, this one's going to be the sort of snow and trees. I want some distance in it. If you didn't see my last um, painting I did literally just 10 minutes ago, then uh, I'll show you at the end of this live. This won't take long to do this painting. Look at that. Okay, so I want to put a load of trees in here. I want to, uh, basically it's a painting of snow and trees, so I say it's not going to take long, but I'm going to be doing these. Right, let's think about some um, some sort of uh, shadowing. So I've got some green. I've got these colours from the last one. There's some slight green there. Tap into the green. Bring that down. We can put some. We can put some closer sort of hills. Just some hints of whatever's going on. Uh, beautiful, thank you so much. It looks so pretty so far. Mazzy Keen, I'm so glad you're still here. Thank you so much. Was it a black canvas or did you paint black? Yeah, it was a black canvas. It came, it, it was a black canvas. Which are, oh, they're so good, these black canvases. Okay, so we're just creating some little, um, some little bumps and hills, and you can do whatever you like. And just blend them out. Maybe some little shadowing up here. Maybe where the trees are going to be. If you can vision in your mind where stuff's going to be, it's just help it give it a little bit of depth and. No. Where the snow catches different shadows and lights. Just pull that a bit across there. Okay. So, I'm going to make a load of trees now. Um, I want distant ones and I want ones. I'm going to bring them all down to sort of 
snow, I can come right down onto the snow with some of them, which would be the closer ones. Um, so let's think, uh, maybe a bit of um, magic. I've got some magic black as well, so I might make it just a thinner paint. Look at all that. It almost looks like um, tar. I'm just gonna make it a bit thinner than um, normal. I've got a load of black paint here from the last one. So I'm just gonna mix them two up. I don't know what kind of trees to do. I think I'll do a few distant ones with fan brush and then maybe some more closer ones with, with the script brush. Your average DTA, my, ha my head hurts so much. Yeah, what, what was wrong? Just uh, DM, I don't know if you said GTA. I might have missed it. The white is ice night, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? I missed I missed something there. Oh yeah, Lisa, thank you. I just, I saw on Amazon wallpaper, Sweden Saber. Yeah, okay, nice one, thank you so much. Well, let's just put some distant trees in, okay? So I want some distant ones and I want some close ones. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna use like, it's almost like a, Silhouette sort of painting. So I'm just turning the fan brush a little bit here um, to get sort of that overall shape in some of them, and then some of them are, are way back in the distance. As soon as you touch that snow, that brings the tree a lot more forward. These are distant trees to begin with, so. Picked up a bit of white there, but that's no problem. Just some faint little ones right in the background, look. These are so far away. Some of them are so far away. Just trying to get it along that horizon. And then we're gonna come closer and closer and closer. So I'm just wondering about using the script brush and doing some sort of trees like that. I think I have COVID and the flu and what, oh my goodness. The, do you know what, I've had COVID twice and it killed me like couldn't get out of bed. Height, the temperature was the worst thing for me. But then I had the flu, this new flu that was going about and that was worse than COVID for me. I had the lot. Lisa, you're welcome there right up the street. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you so much. I shall check them out. Okay, let's just stop some of them out. Well, I can go with the white brush again and just tidy up some of them. See, look, you can make all sorts of stuff. We're gonna have some closer trees here. If you get any black on there, just blend it out. They can become shadows, all sorts of stuff. We're gonna have some bigger trees in front of here as well. Oh, well, that was a new one. I was instead of making a shushing noise, I was blowing out my mouth like. <sighs> when I got COVID, it was absolutely the worst thing I experienced. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely on that. Completely with you on that. Literally with bed bound. Yeah, same here. I was knocked out three weeks each time. Three weeks each time. Don't forget to tap as you come in. Thank you, Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Nice to have you back. 10k already. Brilliant, guys. If everyone watching now could just press. The, um, sh the share button and copy link. That's it, you don't need to send it to anyone. And tap the screen, That's a, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the gifts, if I've missed any. Thank you for new followers. I've got a gift go up there if anyone wants to help out. You can subscribe as well. Works out about a pound a week. You can choose a month or continuously, that helps out. We've got a little family going on. Come and join us. Right, okay, let's put some bigger ones in. Maybe 
There's one that lives here. Right, as soon as I touch that white, I really need to load up the brush. There's one that lives here. A couple of ferns. Let's have another one about here. That's his little, his little friend. He just lives there. Right, okay, let's try something different. You remind me of Bob Ross so bad, Noel. <laughs> I've probably been watching too much. I haven't got his haircut though. <laughs> I've got a face reveal. People have been asking to see my face. Um, so, 1,000 uh, followers. I'm at 24,000 followers. So, you know, see if I look anything like Bob Ross. So, right, okay, so let's put, so, where's my script brush? Let's have some fun. I'm still here, just listening while doing stuff. Razzmatazz, good, good. <laughs> Imagine. T uh, Tiff Taff, no, I was just typing Bob Ross when you did that. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we do get a lot of uh, Bob Ross, you know, the legend he is. You know, there he is. Hello, you want to paint your happy little tree? <laughs> he's, he's a legend. He's a legend. Aisling, how you doing? Thank you. Uh, thank you for the gifts, if I missed any. How many different brushes do you think you would need to make decent paintings? Well, I've got tons of brushes. Um, so the more the merrier. I'm going to say, I'm going to go, sorry, I think I need to get some sleep. GTA, I wish you all the best. Uh, get better really quickly and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for tapping the screen. I hope your headache goes. Need a skier coming down that hill. <laughs> yeah, maybe. A little Bob Ross, a Bob Ross bubble head that says his phrases. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eileen has just become the number two gift the badge. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Yeah, old Bob Ross is a legend. You you must give him a watch. I'm on series, I think, eight now of his stuff, something like that. But yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the gifts. Much appreciated. I need the gifts. They help me buy canvases, paint, um, and it really does help out so much. And the the people that are subscribing, thank you. That helps out too. So I'm just going into black here. Uh, Bob Ross, I mean, I watched one of his episodes last night and at the end of the painting, I heard this like, he was just finishing up the painting, I heard this like, <laughs> like that, and I thought it sounds like a bird. And I paused my, paused it, and it had gone. So I knew it was on there, and at the end of his painting, he brought out a little bird that he was looking after, he'd found, and he was nurturing it and looking after it, you know. And uh, he's just such a nice man. He just seems such a nice man. I wish I could have met him. What did you dip the brush into? Oh, some thinners. Yeah, I've got some thinners. I want this really thin. I could have... Actually, I'm going to use a little bit of Magic Black too. Which Magic Black is like a creamier black. It's been... It's got mixed with oil. So this helps... This helps you... Um, let's have a tree... I wish we have a tree. Let's go back. Yes, he was a very kind soul. A very kind soul. Let's get sharing. Let's get tapping the screen. Let's go. Right, okay. Let's think what kind of tree we want. Let's just... One just lives there, right like that. Give me a little foot. We can have some little limbs coming off here. Just some little ones. Not too much at the top because I'm going to put some things on there. But we want some little ones coming down here. 
Oh, it's difficult to come around here. And some coming towards you as well, because they don't always go off. Okay, that'll do there. Now I want to put a little bit of, I don't want to do the whole lot, but just an idea of some things there. You know, this one's a bit poorly. It doesn't come all the way down. There we go. Uh, videos on YouTube, yeah, I watch. Uh, there's there's lots of um, Bob Ross, and also my stuff if you want to watch it. My YouTube channel. Um, all the past live streams are on there, so. Let's just make him a little bit thicker. Down the bottom. And we've got an instant highlight on there as well. I picked up some of the snow. Can you see that little highlight? That really does. We need a little tiny limb on there. That black really does look nice against that um, sky, I must say. Uh, thank you for everyone that's following. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget, you can subscribe to me up there. I'm trying to be a little salesman. It's about a pound a week, and that supports me, and I really appreciate it. And I've got a little gift goal going on as well. <laughs> if you can't do any of them, thanks for being here. And uh, you can press the follow. Um, you can press the like tap the screen you can share and copy the link and that is all good for me right okay let's do another one of these shall we maybe this one lives let's have him living there he's a bit slighted that one okay so yeah another little thing with the with, with these script brushes you roll them round and they pick up so they pick up so much paint, and if you roll it around and try and get sort of a point, then you can do like them little flicky things. Uh, Mazzy Keen sent a little star. That's cool. That's because you're a subscriber. Wow, it's really come to life now. Yeah, this is another little um, painting that I've had on my mind for some time. So, and you and these and these script brushes are fantastic little brushes. Yeah, it's very easy to do. See, so doing ones like that, even up, a little up one. A lot of people do the tree trunk and then left, right. You've got to think where so there's some coming towards you. This one's a long one, look, look at that. And again, we'll, put, we'll go up to about there. We'll put a little bit of... Uh, this one is... This one's his little brother. He's just got a few. It's just got a few on there. Bit of a scraggly old one. This one's got COVID. <laughs> Don't feel well. <laughs> uh, it's, oh wow, um, trying to keep up with the comments guys. Uh, whoever put that shouldn't Northern Lights be like a zig? No, Northern Lights come just like this as well as a zigzag. Go and check out my other videos and you'll see the ones that you're on about. Uh, don't forget to tap Aisling, thank you so much. That looks great F from a full time Aurora chaser. Justin, thank you so much. That means a lot, thank you. Nice to have you here too. Uh, brilliant. Mazzy Keen, haha. <laughs> what? What? Do you use to clean your brushes? Okay, so I use something called brush cleaner. Um, it's actually called brush cleaner. Um, it's a big pot, and I buy it down at a local, a local store. It's 
So we can do some little shadows under there as well in a minute. Right, okay, let's do some, let's do another sort of small, maybe there's sort of a, a little sort of a row going on here. Let's have one about, let's have one about there. That was nice, I picked up a bit of white, look. We've got a bit of highlight, a bit of snow on the tree. Little things like that really help make a painting. Little tiny limbs on this one. This this painting will be for sale. Um, if anyone's interested, then you can email or message me on TikTok or Instagram. Oh, uh, Mazzy Keen. Hope you feel better soon. Get some sleep, but I'm glad to stay for a while. Good. Yeah, thanks for being here. Really loving this one, says Eileen McDonald. Thank you so much. Let's get to 20k likes. Yeah, the best likes is 55,000. So you better get pressing if you want to beat that. <laughs> uh, right, thank you. Have a lovely night. Yes, Maddie Keen. See you soon. Look out for the videos coming up of the one earlier. Again, right, let's go for a little bit of black here. Need some more paint on the brush there. Start a little bit higher. There, look at them just leaning over. They've had a hard life. So yeah, creating distance now. Okay, let's go one. Let's do, let's think. Um, Yeah, thanks, Mazzy King. I've started the lights off just saying. Lisa, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Maybe you'll finish them off too. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at these shares, 52. Let's see if we can get a speedy, I don't know what, 70. Just press share, copy link, that's it. No more No more said, don't have to do anything. Don't have to send it to anyone. Helps with the, helps with the algorithm. Right, let's think. I think in that sort of, I think there should be one in the background over here. Just a bit closer. So just there. Bringing that down onto the snow. We'll just do some little limbs. Of course, a job getting there. Thanks for everyone that's pressing. Thanks for everyone that's following. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the gifts if I've missed any. Okay, it's quite difficult that one. Let's put some um, little, I've got a massive fan brush going on here for this little one, but hey ho. See if I can lift up a bit of that white again into the Same with this one over here, really. There, that's nice. I quite like that one. It almost looks like got some snow hitting that one. Just neaten this one up a little bit. He's a bit thick down the bottom, but it doesn't matter. Trees come in all different kinds of sizes and shapes. We'll put some little shadows on the, these at the end, I think. All right, we've got 68 viewers. Uh, we've got 119 shares, thank you so much. Keep sharing, sharing is caring. I'm going to some more liquid black here. And we're gonna do... Yeah, guys, if anyone's interested in this painting, then do send us a message. Um, it won't be too much money if you feel like having it. Um, supporting me, that'd be fantastic. I think I might have to bring that one down a little bit, but let's just have him here. 
produce some little limbs coming out. They're getting tiny now, so even the script brush is, you know, quite big. But that's just a little layout there for, for this bit. Yeah, the black looks great against the green, I think. <laughs> Lisa says you're welcome. How do you know, how do you, how do you, how do you know when to finish so you don't overwork painting? Very good question, Maz. Very good question. Uh, tiff tat sound effects. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I swishing and shooing again? Gosh. Let's have... Let's think. I just wonder whether to do a big one here. I want to just try to plan it out, sort of thing. Yeah, you know, it is literally a point where you think, you know, I'm having so much fun, let's put some more trees on, but sometimes you've got to stop, definitely. Now I think another little tree here I think things look better in threes than twos. Apart from a, a couple or relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tiff taff. Is it, is it, am I going shh, shh, shh and all that? I'm sorry. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, let's think what else I can do. Just want to think if I need to add, I think a few more trees probably. We'll put, um, Maybe there's one that lives here. You can still, I mean, trees get smaller as they're going along, but don't forget trees come in all different um, sizes. So you can literally put a bigger tree in the background. I mean, these trees, I've done them slightly in Novo. It's an open area. That's the kind of thing you'd see in an open area where they've had the wind at them. Yes, it's very cute. Oh, thank you, Tiff Tap. <laughs> Sound effects are the best, okay. Let's see if I can do one on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do them on purpose. It's strange, isn't it? Them flicking up sometimes as well, little flick up, little sort of little flick up ones. There's a uh, there's some ferns um, like this that I want to learn a bit a bit more. You don't need them on. Oh, sometimes you can just have little limbs showing without any. You know, a tree trunk coming right through the top on that one. Look, that does give it a bit of distance, doesn't it? Okay, well, let's just play about with some snow for the minute. Okay, so I've got some green, I've got some blue, the sky's green, greeny blues. We could just sort of add some little shadows, you can just pull some of that black out from there. Adding like little shadows. Maybe that's a little hill there, look. Those ones are up on top of a little hill. Uh, a for effort, thank you so much. Um, Sound effects are the best. What am I doing? Bob Ross Payton just found you on my For You page. Sarah B, how you doing? Thank you. I'm a painter but haven't tried oils and always wanted to learn landscapes. Tiff Taff, I can't remember, I, I can't recommend giving oils a go. Um, you know, more than, I just, I just absolutely love oils. 
see, just adding a little bit of blackish, bluey grey that I picked up around the bottom of these is going to help. And it also gives like little snow, snow you know, snow, s s snow mounds. Get your words out. <laughs> we don't have any mistakes. They're all happy accidents. Nine times out of ten, if you're painting and you feel like you've had a mistake, you can sort it out. So yeah, you can add some blue in, a little bit of blue there. You seem to be able to move paint around easier. Oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. You can do this, you can come back in the morning. You could come back in the morning and sort this out. You know, you can work on it in the morning. Acrylics, you're fighting to, you're working fast because it's, you know, you're trying to get it all done before it dries. Almost like sitting on little hills, some of these, you know? Going to some blue. Let's have a bit of blue there, look. Gives, the blue really does help with the snow. We can have this one. Look, let's make a bit of a dip, so goes down and up. That one's sitting right on top of the the dip. That one, look. Don't forget to tap when you come in to show some love. Thank you, Aisling. Thank you so much. I'm. I need some moderators, Aisling, that's the kind of thing moderator would say, and um, if you feel like being a moderator, let me know, because I need a few, actually. If anyone fancies being moderators, but not, not that we've really needed any, but if someone was a pest, came in as a pest, um, which don't really happen, to be honest. Um, but if anyone's interested in doing that, I, I've got to look into making, how to make someone a moderator, but I think you just get your, I think it allows you to block people or certain comments, so... Isn't that amazing where you just, you know, pull a bit of, pull a bit of that down and you've got instant sort of shadows from the trees there. Uh, Charlotte, uh, I'll be a mod if you like, thank you. Send me a message, someone. Um, I think you can now message me on TikTok um, from my profile. Just say, I fancy being a mod. If I get loads of them, then obviously don't be upset if if you're not. It's, it's not about picking someone, it's about just having a few. Um, but yeah, just sort of, I don't, we haven't really had enough. There was one guy um, a long time ago and he came in and said, oh, that's rubbish, blah, 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 blah. And then they end up staying. He was the highest gifter and he pops in every now and again. It's so funny. Uh, Jim Berry, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, Steve, thank you very much too. Just send me a message. I wouldn't mind, that's brilliant. Yeah, just send me a message. Um, please don't have me blocks, love. Your work job. Oh, Maths, no, no. It's only if someone was, um, you know, coming in here, here and, we haven't, like I said, we really haven't had anyone, but sometimes I can't see all the comments, so, you know. Okay. All right, let's get the... I think I've done enough trees. I think any more might spoil it. I do like the way they're leaning over. We might be able to add some little... Maybe there's a... Little bits of grass coming through down there. So you look with a fan brush. Got a little cluster around here that growing. Bit here. I'm just using the black here, so just wherever you feel that there could be something growing. A little flick up the fan brush. The fan brush is such a fantastic brush for this kind of thing. Like I said, if anyone fancies um, maybe a bit of a shadow in this dip, look. Bit of a shadow there coming down. If anyone fancies this or anyone my painting, send me a message. I'm not asking a lot for them. I just need to, I can't, I don't have all the room. I've had a big sort out with, um, my paintings and uh you know they're a lot of ready to are ready to go 
could have even had a nice little stream coming through down there, but that would have been so similar to the last painting. Uh, let's have a look. This is lovely painting. It's what Selena, yes, oils. Thank you um, for answering everyone because obviously I'm painting. Uh, we added stars in the last one. Um, I think I'll leave this one with no stars. Or maybe should I have stars? I don't want to flick stars all over my tree. Um, maybe just a couple in the corner up the top. What do you think, guys? Maybe just a few like up at this. I'm talking about that top corner. I don't want to be getting them all over my trees, really. Um, so have a little vote in the chat. I mean, I could even put some snow on some of these trees, but I think, um, you know, I don't, I don't really know if I should do that. Maybe I should. Yeah, right, that's two questions for you. Snow on the trees, snow on the trees and stars. Snow on the trees and stars. Right. There would be snow on the trees, right? Yeah, we can put some snow on the trees, yeah. Yeah, in the top corner. We're nearly 20,000, thanks guys. Do you have a website with pictures of your paintings that are for sale? Um, yeah, I'm in the process of that. So at the minute, they're actually on eBay, um, under Visual Fusions. Um, there's a link. Um, if you press my profile picture, um, that takes you to my profile on TikTok. And there's a link that takes you to all my social media. You can support me. Um, you've got eBay, uh, Instagram, um, loads of other stuff. What paints I use and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And they're on eBay for a starting bid. But you can make an offer. And I've got a lot to list on there still. A lot of drawing. So, I've got a lot of even better ones that's on there to list. Yeah, link in bio for everything. Thank you so much. A light snow. Yeah, like I think a little dust in here and there. Okay, so we're going to get some magic white. I think I'll do that first. Because that'll make me... Actually, no. Let's do the stars first. Because if I get any on the trees, then I can touch them bits in. So I need to go and wash this brush out. Because this is my star flicking brush. And it's green. We don't want green stars. Give me a couple of seconds, guys. While I've gone for literally a minute, tap the screen, I'll come back to um, some sh more shares, some more likes, more follows. Right, back in a minute. Just beat the devil out of it. <laughs> I was cleaning my brush and I was doing that, you know, like Bob Ross, He's flicking the brush against the side of the, the bit of wood I got out there. I was going, beat the devil out of it. <laughs> if anyone fancies um, helping with the gift goal, I've got one out of 28, that's good. Um, and you can subscribe as well. We've got six subscribers. Um, anyone's welcome to come and join in and um, be part of the family. I think it works out about a pound a week. You can choose a month or longer. Just helps out, guys. And I really appreciate the support. Okay. Right, we're gonna just do some stars. So I'm gonna go into some magic white. Thanks everyone for keeping you all entertained while I've been gone for a minute. What do I wash the brushes with? I use something called brush cleaner. It literally is that simple. Brush cleaner is called, called just called brush cleaner. Um, it's a big bottle of blue stuff, and I get it from my local um, thing, is my local sort of shop thing. Right, so I've just loaded the brush up with some uh, liquid white. Um, uh, how many subs do you have? So. Uh, I have 24,000 followers on TikTok, but subs, I have 6 out of 10 
that I put as a goal and I've got one gift out of 28. Yeah, there's six subs. You get like a little package um, and it's, it supports me. It's like an appreciation thing, basically. Right, okay. I'm just gonna practice a little bit here on something. Okay, let's just put a little few stars up here. Watch closely, okay? Jerry, hello, we're, we're overran. It's okay, I, 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 I literally stayed on and done a second painting. I've done two paintings, Jerry, hoping that we would catch you. Jerry is my first subscriber. Jerry, we've now got six subscribers. We've got a little family going on. So nice to have you here, Jerry. So I'm gonna flick some stars on here. So keep your eyes on this area and hopefully you should be able to see it. Don't wanna to go too mad, but that is what I was kind of looking for. Okay, what do you think guys? Do you think that's an improvement on this one? ET phone home with a white finger. Uh, perfect amount, yeah, didn't get in the corner. Aisling, nice, thank you so much. Stars bring to life, yeah. So the, it, oh my God, brilliant, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it does, it gives some more depth. I do like this line of trees that sort of draws you, it's got that to it, it's got that kind of shape to the picture. Beautiful, said Stephen Miles. Thank you, Stephen. Beautiful, love it. Uh, Eileen Perfect. Eileen's the number one gifter. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay. Right, what else are I going to do? Oh, yeah, some snow. Let's put some snow on the trees. we we'll use the rest of this. Um... So this little board here, uh, it's actually obviously a canvas. And I thought, well, it's in cellophane, so tonight... I'm gonna do that and just peel it off instead of washing the thing out tomorrow. And I've used, I think, four or five brushes tonight to do two paintings, so that's really good. Thank you for the gifts, I just see that. Uh, you've come number three gift of badge. Thank you so much, Lottie. Much appreciated. Aisling is now coming in with the daisies. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not gonna go too mad too mad with the snow okay right over here is all a bit tricky for me so i've got a lot of glare so just some hints of snow just think where they might be sitting on top sitting on top of some of them maybe we can put some little tiny highlights on some of them twigs as well. This one's gonna have little dabbles because it's in the background, okay? Shh, just little dabbles. They really do bring the trees to life. I mean, you could have left them black. It depends on what pitch. Maybe if it wasn't, I mean, there's no reason why you can't have um, just the black trees because you've got that sort of sil silhouette sort of look to it. This one's sitting there, there's a little bit there. A little bit down there. Uh, Jerry, tick Jerry, did you send a gift? Wow, you did. I missed them. Every time I missed them on the screen. Thank you so much for the uh, gifts there. I appreciate that. I really want to. I, 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 I don't. I, when, a, when a gift comes, right? There's no noise unless it's like a big gift. And I can't see, and I really want to see it when people gift me, but I just see a, I just read back in the comments and it says, this person is gifted. But thank you so much, Jerry, once again. How was your um, evening with your, I know you said it overran a little bit, but was it okay? Uh, Lottie, I'm going to go now, sleep is calling. This is stunning picture. Thank you, Lottie, thank you for being here. Really much appreciate it, and thank you for your gift tonight. The times you've uh, pressed. Wow, I saw that one. Aisling, thank you. I saw a guitar. Thank you. Lottie, yeah, have a good night, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks again for being here. So 
So just some touches on this one as well. Just some suggestions of snow there. Guitar was brilliant, wasn't it? Thank you so much for that guitar. I don't even know how much that gift was, but I thank you. I, I really thank you. It's nice to feel that, you know, appreciated that you, you send a gift and you're able to, not everyone's able to send gifts. And um, thank you so much. So yeah, you think about this. This is white paint going onto black paint, both wet. So this is where the magic white is thinner than the black oil paint that's underneath and that allows it to stick a lot more easier than if, than if you were to um, if you was to use you know just the other not a lot on these ones I think. I'll show everyone the other picture I did before, and uh, maybe you can maybe you have a favourite out of both of them. I don't know. Right. Um, Jerry, number one gift of badge, number two Aisling. Thank you so much. I really enjoy watching your lives, so thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Yeah, this bit doesn't look right here. Um, maybe just gonna sort that out somehow. I don't think that bit looks quite right at the top there. Unless I made it a, cut a slight bigger tree or just blacked out some of that um, without, um, let me think. I can probably blend some of that in with the blue. Need a little brush, not too massive. Just make that tree a little bit smaller. I can bring some of that blue in from there. Though I can't go too close to them stars now, that's the thing. Maybe just bring a bit of that up. We can sort that out there. Make them just a little bit sort of bigger in places, you know. That's better. More satisfied with that. We can just put some of them highlights on there. Okay. That's better. The green is very nice, isn't it? So I've done blue at the top, then I've done green and put a load of yellow down the bottom. And you've got the like the yellow there. I, to be honest with you guys, I want to learn how to do. You know, I can do the normal like, northern lights. You see me, see me. I've done a little experiment earlier, trying to get that lighter, lighter green lights, but it kind of went a bit mushy. So I'm still working on that. I want to work with some different colours. Um, you know how to get that exactly right. But yeah, it's a learning curve. I'm learning as I go. Um, Sound effects are the best. Uh, Gary Wright, I love the sound effects you make. See, another person, another person says about the sound effects and I can't remember what I what I did. When did I do it? Was it when I was putting the snow on? I can't remember doing it. Go to sleep. Relax. Should I just do ASMR? Maybe I should do an, a, a, an AS, a, ASMR channel. That's the one. <laughs> okay, right. I've just crossed brush that. I've just got black on my white brush. But, oh, I've got to sign the other painting as well. So I'll do that before I go. I'll sign both of them before I go. Um, this, this brush has now got loads of black on it, which is annoying. Okay, that's the one, Aisling. <laughs> Maybe I should do an, a an ASMR channel. I've seen, do you know, when I first come across ASMR, I was on TikTok and there was this person there with a B 
big microphone covered in cling film, putting shaving foam all on it. And I thought, what the hell are they doing? But then realised that it was a thing. People like it. And actually some of them are, Some I think it depends who's doing it, but some of them are actually quite relaxing. Now I listen to rain, um, fan, fan noises. I've got like a little playlist on, um, a little playlist on um, like, YouTube and that helps me go to sleep. There's only thing that helps you go to sleep guys. Tiff Taff, beautiful, thank you so much. Uh Azen become number two gifting. Uh Jerry's come number one. Thank you for the gifts. Did I miss did I miss it? I hope not. They can be such weird videos, but some people love the sounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least I love ASMR, it sends me right to sleep. Jerry, no. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, no, yeah, because Jerry suffers with a bit of a, you know, a certain insomnia. I had a week of that and uh, recently insomnia, and it's horrible. So I don't know how anyone could like last that long without sleep. Yes, Steve, nice one. I have some of that too. Some thunderstorms. Sometimes I feel like a real sort of, you know, clappy, banging thunder sounds, and they're quite cool. Or a stream, a running stream, or a tin roof rain on a tin roof or a car is hitting the roof that i do like that sound that's quite nice june berry yes i listen to heavy rain and thunderstorms it's relaxing isn't it and it's quite amazing that all of us like art are here and we all do like a cop you know that kind of that thing to help us to sleep yeah rain and thunder is brilliant it, when it's really raining and thundering for for real i love it some people go and hide some people don't like it i love it i'm like come on let's have a big one I love it. Um, Winter, you're still here? Hope I'm pronouncing it, your name correct. Lisa, I imagine insomnia is like a jet lag. Oh yeah, I can imagine so. I have, so, oh, Tifta has severe insomnia. Uh, three hours sleep last night, up all night, every night, oh dear. Sorry about the insomnia, that must have been so tough. Yeah, I mean, Jerry, I know Jerry suffers with it a lot, but yeah, the week I had, it was so strange. I literally could get two hours sleep and that was it. Right, I need to I need to um, clean out my script brush. This won't take long. And I'll be back literally in a couple of seconds. Beat the devil out of it. Every time I clean my brush, beat the devil out of it. Guys, as well, if um, you're still here, there's a good number of us here. Uh, my favorite part is the green and blue. Oh, isn't it nice, the way it blends in? I'm gonna keep doing these kind of paintings in between like the big serious paintings that I do. And just, you know, the more I do it, the more Show you my other painting before I go offline, the one I did before before this one. But well, I'm gonna get some red. And please, if anyone's interested in buying my paintings, let us know. Send me a message on TikTok, email, um, Instagram, wherever, let me know before I put them up for sale. Um, I do a good deal, I don't ask for a lot. I charge about six pound postage. I'll go and post it off. Help me out, because I've got piles of them. It'd be nice just to get rid of some and it'll all go towards paint. All go towards more lives. I'm not gonna make a profit on, on any of it really. It's just, I mean, I've spent hundreds and, well, thousands, <laughs> I think now in the last year on them, on the stuff. So I'm just going into red with some paint thinners. And I'm gonna put a little signature on this and sign it off. I just need a bit, I think that's watery enough. Uh, let's have a look. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show it very soon. Just going to sign this one, then we're going to sign the other one. Uh, let's bring this forward. Cool, yeah, you work a lot as well, don't you? Maybe that's, maybe that is something, 
some I've, I've seen before where people work so hard and so long hours that their brain is used to being switched on. So, I mean, if you're running your own business as well, that kind of thing, that, I mean, I've done that before and it, it can keep you awake. If you've got things on your mind, it really can. Okay, let's put a little signature down here. Okay, so that one's signed. Take a look at uh, take a look at that one quickly before I change to the other one. Just put in a bit more. Got a bit of a 3DM going on there. Okay, so uh, no, I've, I, I haven't done some major ones, big ones yet. So the the biggest canvas I got is the biggest painting I've done so far is sort of this size. And it is, um, I think it's 40 by 30. But yeah, I was thinking earlier, actually, funny enough, I'd like to get a big canvas. But to be honest with you, they're too, they're expensive. I buy my canvases in, in like in bulk in about like a, a nine pack and it comes with little tiny ones like this um, up to, and, and I've got lots of these, so I'm trying to do these. So it literally is, you know, trying to get them for the minute. Love the colours, thank you. Right, let's get the other painting. I'll, I'll show you this one quickly now. Let's just move my iPad out of the way. Everyone say hello YouTube in chat because I'm gonna put the camera on the um, thingy. All right, say everyone say hello YouTube. And you should be on the YouTube. Uh, the YouTube will be on the YouTube video when it comes up. There you go. Steve FC, hello YouTube, we've got a hello YouTube. There we go, Lisa, Hazling. Awesome. I've been wanting I've been wanting a big river and a, a tree scene with river rocks in the living room. Ah, uh, Tiff Taff, you should see some of the ones I've done, um, especially the green sort of enchanted sort of forest. So I'm gonna do another one of them uh, soon as well. Hello YouTube, says everyone, thank you. Oh look there, I'm not even holding it on there. There you go, let's scroll back. In case we missed someone. Yeah, there we go. Oh, not a very good cameraman, am I? There we go. So, so let's have a look at this photo. Uh, let's have a look at this painting. Just take the, try and take the glare off a little bit. So we've got this one here. So obviously you've been about a foot away from the painting on this one because it's such a small canvas. So now you're probably about, that's probably about three feet away, something like that. So close to 25k, uh, great job, thank you.